hate yourself for this one. Your two misses on your headshots are the ones you got your fives. <laughs> <laughs> and then all fives and fours. <laughs> Fire! Uh, Marksman National Guard is important because we need to take all the extra time we can to build those disciplines, the muscle memory, uh, the traditions of marksmanship for a lethality purpose so that when we deploy we can be more combat effective and lethal to the enemy. Oh man, for networking this is so great because all these uh, different states get different teams together. We always come together and learn something new from another state that we can take back and incorporate into our own marksmanship programs and just continue to grow our programs across the states. So I've been to our MAC-3 regional twice. I've been here at WPW. I think this is my fourth time. Um, I believe that marksmanship to the National Guard is important because it's kind of an overlooked skill of soldiering. It's something that we spend probably the least amount of time doing if you look at all of our training tasks that we complete in a year. Uh, shooting is probably on a back burner and sometimes, unfortunately, due to all the other things that we have to do, can kind of just be a check in the box. Uh, I believe that coming to these competitions like the WPW, tag matches, local matches, regional matches, it kind of gives you an opportunity to kind of fine, fine tune and hone in the, the skills that it takes to competently, you know, employ your, either your rifle or your pistol. Uh, so when we came down in December, Aaron and myself both had, I think, out of school, a combined total of less than one year of experience. Uh, so in that field, we were severely outmatched with the experience, but um, we came down, uh, we did really good. We ended up finishing second, and I'm pretty sure it's a testament to the new uh, curriculum that the sniper schools are putting out. It just kind of shows you uh, that they are developing the marksmanship programs and this the program in general to allow such new shooters to come out and do so well. It just shows that you know we're getting the right instruction and training, you know, through the uh, the schoolhouse, which is nice because then we get to come out and show that at the competitions, as well as uh, kind of refine and hone that because in our units in our state we don't have nearly as much resources. To make that happen and at the WPW I mean there's probably hundreds of personnel that are doing stuff for us to allow us to run range operations the way that we do and 
at a state level or even our section levels, it would never happen. So without the WPW, you know, the Winston P. Wilson doing things for us, we wouldn't get that training. I mean, the competitors, I think if you were to say other than getting extreme training, like just really good training, the competitors was the best part. Like getting to know everybody, just meeting new teams, like especially at the, the sniper WPW was great for us because people went out of their way. Our unit and our section is behind the bell curve with the Army's uh, supply and the, the issuing of equipment. And competitors came out of their way to like issue us extra gear that they had to allow us to compete at kind of a higher level that we might not have been able to uh, with our outdated stuff. So it was just awesome to see people like willing to give you stuff for you to shoot better even though that you were the competition because everybody understands that the end goal is to increase lethality across you know America's army especially with the snipers.